and it takes air that's in the 70s to near 80 degrees with humid weather inside that and turns it into severe storms. We've got multiple warnings across the south. We've got multiple severe thunderstorm warnings in southeastern Arkansas. We've got one, two, three, four. It looks like four active warnings uh, for tornadoes across Louisiana into Mississippi and now even crossing into Alabama as well. It's this powerful cold front that's helping to spark them some of this change. We've got 30s and 20s on the other side of this front and some of that cool air is now rushing into Arkansas and Oklahoma as we speak. But most of the severe threat is off towards the south, mainly eastern Arkansas. We still have to worry about some of these hailers that are still forming and pressing east right along the Mississippi River. But the tornado threat has mainly shifted towards the south. We want to take a closer look at some of the storms across Arkansas. We wanted to give you an update across Arkansas and Oklahoma, what we're expecting tonight. And really, it's if you live farther towards the east, that's where the worst weather is. And then we're going to talk about where the cold front is. So we've got two separate areas. We've got temperatures that are falling near the 30s already in Arkansas. And then we've got areas like this in southeastern Arkansas from El Dorado right towards Arkansas City, where we've got some hailers forming. And then we also have a lot of lightning strikes, too. We've got two severe thunderstorm warnings in the natural state, one just crossing the Mississippi River there north of Greenville, and then another one farther towards the north and west. Now, the problem has been mainly the hail. We've been dropping hail right along the corridors for some of these storms up to about a quarter, sometimes a little bit bigger than a quarter, uh, right across the Mississippi River. You can see those warnings be extended into Mississippi. But overall, these storms are starting to weaken. When, in fact, we noticed, you see the severe thunderstorm warning that includes uh, Haley and Jerome. This is crossing 165. We've had some rotation, a lot of lightning with this storm too. This has slowly weakened a bit. The rotation isn't as robust anymore. This is crossing the Mississippi River within the next 10 minutes. This is probably our last circulation across Arkansas. So, so that's some good news. But of course, we're still thinking about and praying for our friends in Mississippi, Louisiana, and in uh, Alabama. But Arkansas is starting to quiet down. Oklahoma, we've been quiet all day long, but now that cold air is rushing in. And if you look farther towards the north and west, we've got clouds. And we've got some snow flurries that are taking place across the panhandle. This is isn't really uh, making an impact on area roadways. It would just mainly be a stray flurry that kind of falls out of the sky. But most of the severe weather is well off towards the east right now. We're getting our live stream platforms ready. We just want to give you an update on what's going on. Because remember, today it was warm, it was windy, and you think in November, something's got to give, right? But the reason why all the severe weather has been farther towards our our east has mainly been thanks to our humidity values. And there's a couple other things at play too that we'll, we'll talk about and we'll explore a little bit. But mainly, it's just too dry here at home. We had a surge of really humid air go right up the Mississippi River and that helped produce a lot of these storms. And we, that's why we still have these severe thunderstorm warnings that are south and east of Little Rocket. But if you live anywhere around Little Rock and Conway, back west, we're good. Now we did have one shower. In fact, I had a quick rumble of thunder they're just north of Altus and then headed east towards Clarksville, mainly in the mountains, though, in the Boston Mountains. This thing has fizzled away, but it kind of showed you the leading edge of that cooler air as it marches eastbound. We're watching the clouds across Oklahoma, southern Kansas. This batch of cloud it cover is starting to weaken a little bit. It's starting to kind of erode on its edges, but this batch will move in overnight tonight, and there could be a stray flurry, stray snowflake or two. Not talking about anything major, but a couple snowflakes could be seen if you flip on the porch light later tonight night and Benton and Washington counties, maybe even Carroll County as well. But as that moves farther into or deeper into Arkansas, it'll start to fade away. But that cold air is rushing in as we speak. I want to show you some of the temperatures. We're now down to 43 in Bentonville. We'll get an update here in about 10 minutes. It goes every hour with some of these temperature thermometers, uh, but 43 in Bentonville. I'm not surprised if here in the next update in 10 minutes, we're down to the 30s. We've got 40s in Rogers and Springdale. Here's a closer look at some of that cooler air. Tawny Town, that's where we've got some of the coldest air in back west of Salem Springs, low 40s. We're right on the edge of the 40s and the 30s. Fayetteville's about to drop in the 40s anytime. And in Fort Smith, Earlier, just an hour and a half ago, we were sitting in the 70s. Not the case anymore as those northwest winds are now coming in. We're feeling that northwest wind in Clarksville. We're really feeling it in eastern Oklahoma. LaFleur County, boy, we're down to the 50s in La LaFleur County there right around Pirate Country in Poto. But the northwest winds will continue. These are the sustained winds. 24 miles per hour, that's what they're sustained at. They're not going any slower than that in Fort Smith. We've got gusts anywhere between 30 to 40 miles per hour. But storm threats are done here at home. We'll take a closer look at the radar in just a second to one more look at the storms that are crossing the Mississippi River. But western Arkansas, eastern Oklahoma, we look good, but we are watching some of these clouds that could just sit over us for a second right around midnight 
don't be surprised if they throw out a stray snowflake because they're kind of low clouds. And so we'll be on the lookout for that. But then by two, three o'clock in the morning, we're fast asleep. Clouds are out of here. We've got the clear skies. You'll see the stars perfectly tonight. Not that you want to be out there because it's going to be cold, but then we'll have a lot of sun tomorrow. Wednesday looks very sunny for us. It's going to look nice outside, but it's not going to feel nice outside. Highs tomorrow should only get into the 40s. Now, with those clouds, we are going to talk about the chance for a stray snowflake, mainly in the light blue areas. And we're not talking about anything that really makes an impact, but you may see a stray snowflake from Fayetteville northbound. That would be pretty much about it. But by tomorrow morning, waking up, headed out the door, bundling up the kiddos. They didn't really need the jacket so much today. Now, sometimes it was just so windy that it felt kind of chilly. But overall, it was nice compared to where we've been. Remember all Thanksgiving break was kind of on the cool side and a lot of times cloudy and rainy. Well, tomorrow we're going to have the sun back, barely a cloud in the sky anywhere. But it's going to be cool. We're going to have temperatures in the mid-40s in northwest Arkansas. In the River Valley, we're going to try to head towards 50 degrees. That's going to be about it. We'll still have those north winds, northwest winds throughout the day. All right, so what's next? Well, it's late November. Actually, technically, tomorrow's the last day of November, and then December starts there Thursday. Uh, we're talking about a lot of swings. We've got a lot of different fronts that are passing on through. It seems one day we get a cold front, the next day we get a warm front, and we just keep bouncing back between the two. And because we keep bouncing back between the two so rapidly, it's hard to refuel the atmosphere for severe weather. So overall, when you see the seven day forecast, we're not talking about too much severe weather. And we're kind of just above freezing, even with some of these colder cold fronts that are gonna move in. Now tonight we're gonna dip below freezing, uh, but overall, we don't really have very many snow chances ahead. We're kind of sticking in the 50s and 60s with some rain here and there and temperatures kind of flopping all over the place. Here's a look at Futurecast. I want to show you our next chance for some rain because tomorrow looks clear. Thursday, we've got a lot of sun. We'll have some clouds off towards the south. Now, by Thursday night and into Friday morning, there could be a couple light showers, especially in the River Valley. It doesn't look like too much at this time. Just kind of pesky light rain showers for your Friday. So a 20 percent uh, across the River Valley that we'll be watching for. Otherwise, throughout the weekend, we've got 50s. We'll cool down as another front comes through. And then another warm front Monday, another cold front Tuesday. So you kind of see the, the range of temperatures. We're going to be a little bit all over the place. You want to look at the app, 5 News app, real quick just to check, okay, what's the day going to be like again? Because it's not going to be very consistent the next couple of days. The jet stream has gotten really active, and tonight is the first night that it's really active, and that's why we're seeing all that severe weather. It's going to stay active, but we don't have a chance to really recover, and that's why when you see these rain chances, Really not a threat for severe weather at this time. So let me back up. We'll go to the beginning. I'll show you one more look at the radar, uh, tracking some of those severe thunderstorms that are closer to the Arkansas River. All right, here's a wide view. Looks like we still have four tornado warnings, mainly in central Mississippi. We've got another one, a good supercell. You can even see the hook from this distance there in northeastern Louisiana. This will be crossing the Mississippi River, getting close to Jackson. In the next hour, we've got already rain reporting over Jackson right now. Heavy rain continues in Alabama. In western Alabama, we do have a tornado warning. But then multiple severe thunderstorm warnings are lingering in southeastern Arkansas. But the good news overall is these are starting to rain out a little bit. They're getting a little bit more disorganized. Notice how at the beginning of this loop, you even had a, a little bit of a curve on this cell, but it starts to kind of fizzle away. That's the sign of some weakening with this storm. And the lightning core has slowly diminished a bit. Still, still pretty loud there north of Greenville as you cross the Mississippi River from, from Arkansas and you head eastbound. Uh, but this storm is starting to weaken. It also has produced some hail. We've been watching some of these hailers. We've got another hailer that's north of Arkansas City. Here's a little bit closer view. We've noticed the rotation on some of these storms have started to dissipate too. But if you live in eastern Arkansas, we're almost done. And then you're going to drop with the temperature. Tomorrow morning, all our Kansas are going to be waking up at least in the 30s, or at most in the 30s it would be. Some of us will wake up in the 20s. So especially colder in the northwestern corner of the state where we've already had the front start to pass on through. So we're going to have a better chance of getting to the 20s because we've already started cooling down. But most of Arkansas will wake up in the 30s tomorrow. But overall, we're looking a lot better here in the natural state. The severe threats have really been in in extreme eastern Arkansas, right along the Mississippi River, and then really into Mississippi and Louisiana. We'll keep you updated throughout the night for our friends off towards the south. We've got we've got crews with across the company that uh, are analyzing some of the storms closer to the Mississippi River. But otherwise, colder air is marching in. By day or by night, 5 News Weather Team will always be by your side. We'll see you later.